Okay? Let's look at it. It says, a stone of mass 0.7 kg is projected vertically up with a speed of 5 meter per second. That is, the initial speed is 5 meter per second. Okay? Now, we are asked to calculate height. The H is not known. Remember, H this time is synonymous to distance as S. We don't know. Okay? We are asked to take G to be 10 meter per second square. Here, G is our A. But this, because we are shooting it up, is going to be deceleration. Why deceleration? Because while you are going up, you will later come to a rest. Anything that involves you coming to a rest, it means you are decelerating. Because you fly up and stop, then you start coming down again. That is what deceleration. Therefore, you are going to be minus under this concentration. We are told that we should calculate the maximum height. We should neglect the air resistance. Don't consider this because it doesn't matter when we are doing what? Motion. Whether it's 10, 1,000, 1 million kg. This value was given to us. The value it was used to fly. Okay? Now, we don't know T, the time. It's not given. We can get T. How do we get T? We know the G, we know the U. We can use that to get the time. If you look at the graph, it started from here to decelerate because this is deceleration. Where did it start from? Five meter per seconds. Start falling till it gets to zero meter per seconds. Here is the time. This is a distance which is equivalent to this height. Okay? First of all, we need to know the time between this and this. Because we already know G to be 10, this time we are not going to consider negative because we are looking at time. Time cannot be negative. So T, you agree with me, acceleration is V over T. So T, therefore, is equal to V over A. We swap, which is equal to V is 5 over A is what? 10, which is equivalent to this, 0.5, okay, in seconds. So we can say here is 0.5 in seconds. So we can use this formula and I'll say S equals to UT plus 1 over 2 AT squared. This is H in this context because we are talking about height. We know the initial velocity to be 5 multiplied by this 0.5, the time, 1 over 2 multiplied by minus 10, because this is deceleration, this is deceleration, multiplied by 0.5 square. This will give us 2.5 minus this is 5, 5 multiplied by 0.25. This is 2.5 minus 1.25. If you work on this now, you agree with me, you're going to have 1.25 in meter. This is the height. I don't know if you understand me. The G, the only thing you know is that once you project something up, because a time is coming to stop, that means it started very fast, the speed started reducing or it came to a rest that is actually deceleration which this represent coming down it means it started very well I came to rest we are looking for this height okay as I said you can use this you can also use the area of this location we already know that this is 0.5 right we can use this area to say half base times height because this is what a triangle. You agree with me here? The base here is 0.5. 
why the height is 5. It means, therefore, if you cancel this, you have 2.5. 0.5 multiplied by 2.5. If you solve this, now you're going to have 1.25. Just like this one. So any of them, you are good to go. Hope this understood. Thank you for viewing.